Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right now, thanks to Master Gamer, with the help of Evazon, obviously, we're going to be able to show you guys some rank 4 Ant-Man footage. Now, obviously Ant-Man is getting buffed in September, so next month, quite soon, but we already have this legend who took him up to rank 4, which is an extremely brave decision. And uh, he's going to be showing us what Ant-Man is capable of in this video. But before that, definitely check out Ebzone. Links in the description. Create your account. It is the best way to get in touch with me. It is also the best way how you can submit your own gameplay to be featured on this channel. It's an amazing messaging and file transfer service. They are putting in a lot of effort to make the service even better. So 100% go and check them out. That being said, let's just see exactly how this rank 4 Ant-Man is going to be behaving. Now we do have some Realm of Legends footage, and then we also have like two finishes of uh, Star-Lord in Labyrinth of Legends. One is with his max ramp up basically in that fight, and one is with him dropping that massive level 2 and going for all the poisons. So for those of you who do not know, thanks to Captain America Sam Wilson, Synergy. Ant-Man basically got a major boost in his damage capabilities. You do need to run Ghost Synergy, because that is a synergy that increases your damage output for every debuff you place an opponent. And then, thanks to Captain America and Wilson Synergy, every time you drop a level 1, on every hit you inflict a fatigue and pause your existing fatigues, which basically means you can keep stacking them for a really, really long time there. And uh, that means that Ant-Man has effectively turned into a Star-Lord type of character, where the longer you fight, the harder you hit. Uh, but you do not need to worry about losing your combo meter. The things that are obviously disadvantage here compared to Star-Lord is the fact that you do need synergy support and also the fact that you do need to be able to use your level 1s frequently. And you need your debuffs to stick an opponent. Other than that, it is a fairly free playstyle. Here we can see that at this point, that Winter Soldier is already getting clipped for like 15k medium crits, which isn't like bad at all. And uh, obviously there are champions who can do this fight quicker, but uh, 500k health pool isn't necessarily the place for this guy to shine. And on top of that, on top of that, obviously, uh, he's getting a buff. So we can see what happens with this synergy and how he looks after his buff in September. So that was the Winter Soldier that was clipped with class disadvantage as well. Now we have Captain Marvel Classic. And again, you start with very modest damage numbers. For a rank 4 6 star, critting for like 2600 or something, you know, it's not the greatest amount of damage. But as soon as you drop your first level 1, I think those damage numbers become a lot more acceptable with like 8k medium crits and 5k light crits. And that's like with your very, very first level 1 right there. And uh, now another level 1, obviously further increasing the hit count, but also pausing all of those fatigues. And now we're going to have 18 of them. I think how much attack bonus does each debuff give to Ant-Man, is it like 5%? Something like that, I think. So when you reach 20, I actually don't remember how much attack you get for it, but it's the increase is clearly noticeable here. So again, he's up to 70 hits, and at this point you have 23 fatigues and you're hitting like 14k medium crits. And uh, obviously you also get a chance to place your fatigues on uh, Kapal Classic. Ooh, this was a mistake. He dropped a level 2, but uh, obviously Cap Marvel Classic is immune, so he basically just annihilated all his ramp up. This was one of those uh, whoopsie moments, what we would describe. All right, let's check out what is going to be this next clip, because this is, this is just, uh, you know, a finish that should have happened a while back had he not thrown that level 2. But let's move on to the next fight here, and this is going to be the fight with class advantage. So, so far we saw with class disadvantage, neutral relations, and now with class advantage against Jaggy. Obviously, going up against Jaggy, you do need to be aware of the unstoppable, and that might slow you down, which might be quite annoying. 
and it seems that the quality increased of these clips because or at least the aspect ratio increased of this clip so let me just pull this one down a bit and i think this is almost fine ah it's annoying when it goes from one clip to another clip like that get it back down a bit here we go hopefully it's gonna be fine now so now he is at 14 obviously he's also running the synergy where every time he glances he gains a passive fury but honestly that that passive fury compared to all the attack increase that you get from placing debuffs is uh, quite unnecessary i think uh i think in situations like this with ant-man you'd probably be better served running like crit synergy that would bear like more meaningful damage increase than you know some passive furies then from time to time because yeah you get all the attack increase that you need in the world from spamming those level ones and now at this point again you're back to 10k light crits and uh let's see where it goes further but honestly obviously the main thing that i want to show you guys is the finishes of both both star lord fights because uh, there are some crazy, crazy damage numbers coming out of Ant-Man. But before that, I need to finish this one off. So he's going for level 2 here, which I think, you know, he could have done probably earlier. But yeah, because none of the poison damage actually has yet been revealed or showcased. Let's see, what is this fight then? This, this clip seems to be slightly longer. And this is against Wolverine. Oh, this is also going to be quite interesting because... He is not running any points in despair, so he's not going to be mitigating any of the regeneration from Wolverine. It's just going to be, you know, purely out damaging it or launching at level 2 to deal all of that 350k health pool as poison damage in one go, basically. Because as we can see here, that even though he has like 6-7 debuffs, you know, the regeneration is perfectly intact. That automatically means that there isn't even a single point in despair and this is going to be purely a contest of damage raw damage output here against that wolvie so he's at 16 fatigues here obviously he's gonna need significantly more to completely be able to out damage this wolvie and uh let's see how he gets on with it so he's at what 20 fatigues now he's light critting for like 8k which again isn't nowhere close to the final possible damage i actually don't know what is the maximum damage of ant-man these days uh like what is the best place where you can ramp him up to stupid crazy degree and see how many fatigues exactly you can stack if there is a limit But uh, that being said, will we still at 100% perfect yellow bar there? 30 fatigues, but will we doesn't care. One combo in, he gets two region procs. And he's perfectly happy living there. So now he's going to drop another level 1, 34 fatigues. Can, we, can he finally start doing some damage there? I actually have no clue how far in this fight we are at the moment. How many more of these debuffs he's going to need. But now you definitely see that health bar shift much more drastically at this point. You can see four regenerations, like 20k regen per tick there on Wolvie. That is some insane numbers uh, of regeneration. But at the same time, obviously, he has continued to stack up more and more fatigues on Wolvie. And uh, now you can see that whenever he doesn't proc that region, the health bar is just completely being annihilated. 150 hits in this fight as well. I believe I don't think he took a hit so far. Now, well, we did trigger again two regions. We can see that that region is pushing back hard against all of that raw damage. Come on, let's see what numbers you have for us. I mean, I think at this point he could drop a level two and finish that fight, but I kind of hope he doesn't because I want to see uh, how high he's going to go up there. And now, unless Wolvi starts proccing regions very actively, I think we are closing in on the end. That was like 29k medium there. Yes, another combo. And that Wolverine's regeneration just did not quite hold up. 
And now we're going to have the first finish of the Star Lord. So we can see that it's 280 uh, hits. And he has over 100 fatigues here on Star Lord. And 47k medium crits. So this is some filthy damage. You know, getting that damage cap basically on your regular medium kit hits is, is a bit filthy. And here he finishes with the heavy attack. So we can go up again. So this is 30 second clip. So the fight there lasted about 25 seconds. And that's 20% of the health there. So one fifth. So it's like 800,000 health or 850,000 health basically done in like 25 seconds. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are definitely some very, very big numbers <laughs> without a doubt. So we got nice casual 23k light crits. And then we have 47k medium crits and the heavy attacks finish it off. But this last clip, I think, is going to be the most fun, the most interesting. So he has 84 fatigues, and we can see Star Lord is at 36%. That is to say, he was at 36% because all of those poisons are just starting to completely obliterate his health pool. So this one level two will effectively have dealt. 36% a third, a million damage. So, and that wasn't, you know, even the full amount of damage. The poison dealt over a million damage. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of ifs and buts and limitations, and, you know, you need to work to get there, but that is a bit crazy. It's always fun to see what kind of stupid or crazy numbers you can put up in Marvel Hands of Champions, and Ant Man kind of fits that character description right now. Where one level two, one million damage. Not bad, I'd say. Let me know what you guys think. Also, definitely do not forget to check out Evizone and get in touch with me. My email and my contact information for Evizone is in the video description. Check it out. Drop me a message if you have some cool rank fours, and I would love to showcase them on my channel. And uh, also, we're constantly doing all sorts of giveaways and uh, interesting. Uh, partnerships and collabs with Evizone stage so stay tuned for those because we're definitely going to have something coming up for the next month as well and especially stay tuned for when Balgrounds return because there should be some very exciting stuff happening all that being said I'm going to catch you guys later see ya Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the 